went on. Today's Country 103.5 WEZL. Got the 103-minute music marathon coming up in less than 30 minutes. Hang tight for that chance to win a trip to Vegas for the iHeartRadio Music Festival, courtesy of Hendrick Chevrolet. Next chance between 11 and 11.30 this morning. I uh, was checking on uh, the tickets for John Mellencamp yesterday. They had the pre-sale yesterday. Yes, they did. You know, he's going to be at the pack, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which I think is a very exciting thing. Uh, because I've always thought John Mellencamp was just this side of being a country singer anyway. Well, plus, he's a superstar. Well, I mean, absolutely. And this is a great chance to see him if you can't make it to uh, Farm Aid this year. An intimate venue like that, 2,000 seats to yeah. see Mellencamp. Every seat's a good seat. I mean, you're going to be right up on this guy. Talking to a guy yesterday who said uh, he was he went over to try to buy tickets. Uh, and they had them, uh, and he, but he decided not to buy them once he saw the price. What were they? One thirty, one thirty-five a piece. Good grief. You're That's kidding a little steep. me. No. $135 a piece yeah. but for it one is, ticket? But it is an intimate venue. I'm sure those it were the upfront seats. I'm sure those were the pit seats. 130 bucks for, for Mellencamp I don't think is totally unreasonable. Would you pay that? I wouldn't pay it for, for Mellencamp probably, but I paid $200 a piece for Prince. Because my wife really wanted to go see it, and I'll be honest with you, that hurt my feelings a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty. To steep. have to pay four hundred four hundred bucks for a night out. That's tough. Well, that's just to get in the door. That's just to get in the door. But having paid it and was grumpy about it leading up to it, best concert I've ever seen ever ever. Would you ever. do it again? Yes, do it in a heartbeat for four hundred bucks. For four hundred bucks. Wow. So I'm I'm, I'm torn on this one uh, because I I'm just I've got every song the man's ever recorded. Uh, and all of them, even the bad ones. And he's had some bad ones. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm just a huge fan. And, and I really am considering not seeing him in concert. Just simply because I, I just have a hard time paying 100 well, bucks or more for a ticket to see a show. I mean, to me, that just is... Would you? Do you know that you would enjoy the night? That's what it comes down well, to. Well, see, I don't know if I can. My wife has... I, I've got such a guilt... Thing built into me now about spending a lot of money on anything mm-hmm. that I don't know that I could sit there and go, God, this is just incredible. God, this is because the whole time I'd be going, Man, a hundred bucks. At this, I don't know if I should have spent a hundred bucks a ticket. I don't know about that. I look at it like this: Can you afford a hundred and thirty bucks without the lights being turned off? Would it be a good night out with your wife? I see. I don't know because I don't know that she could enjoy it knowing yeah. we paid a hundred and thirty bucks a ticket. Well, then that's what it comes down to. If if you're going to feel guilty about it, she would, and she's not going to have a good time yeah. because of it. Yeah. You're going to be miserable. Exactly. Then it's not worth it. Okay. Well, then I won't go. But my wife wanted to go see Prince, and she is as cheap as I am. But we knew that it'd be a good concert. You all take green? Did you save green stamps and <laughs> no get a discount or something? <laughs> we pulled it. We pulled it out of the emergency fund. Is that right? <laughs> right. It was an emergency concert. Had to go see Prince. That's an emergency. Is there any other artist active today? Any other artist today that you would pay two hundred dollars to see again? I don't think so. Besides Prince, you said you would pay that again. The only thing I I, I would think of. If he were still alive, just the experience of maybe seeing a Michael Jackson or something like that, maybe just because, I mean, they're beyond superstar. Mm-hmm. Prince, to me, is beyond a superstar. Right. Um, but, but that's it? I can't think of anybody current that I would pay that for. I mean... What about what about you, Griff? No. Anybody you'd pay... Uh-uh. No, you Frank wouldn't. Sinatra. He's not alive. Oh, he's not? When no, did he die? He's, he's been dead a couple of years. <laughs> no <days>. kidding. <laughs> Would you go hey, see like, somebody like that? I like I like music by my favorites as much as the next guy, but uh-huh. you know what? I, I cannot justify, especially in this economy, yeah, two hundred dollars or more for a ticket. I, I couldn't even justify a hundred bucks for a ticket. Could not even do that. I would gladly have paid two hundred dollars for a ticket to see Christopherson uh, had they not given me a free ticket when they brought him to town. Mm-hmm. I, I would have paid because I just love Christopherson. And it would have been my one chance in my life to see him. So I, w- I would have paid that and felt like, okay, you know what? I deserve that. Mm-hmm. I would have. Uh, but, um, boy, I don't know. I don't know, if, I don't know if I can pull off this. I don't know if I can pull this off or not. But, see, what we did was we, we spent the 400 bucks yeah. on, on the two tickets. Right. But then we just really didn't go out to eat that month. Mm-hmm. We would have spent that money anyway on entertainment over the course of a month. Okay. We just blew it all in one wad. I got you. 
So I could look at it that way. Sure. Okay. Well, see, that's a different thing. I can just so I we won't go. Okay. I see. I can see that. That's starting to work in my head a little bit. Yeah. Whether I can convince her of that or not, I don't know. But I, I'll give it a shot. Don't do I think it it's if gonna, she's going to be miserable. I though. think it's going to be a great show. I mean, I, to, to see Mellencamp up close Here's in that what you room, should do. what's that? You should go by yourself and tell her you saved y'all $130. There you go. What do you think, Gary? That'll work. Well, that, Would that work for Darlene? Uh, no, I'd have to send her. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, i got I got to think about this, but tickets go on sale officially this morning at 10 a.m. From Mellencamp. And I think that concert's November 9th. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. Uh, that, that sh- and we did get an email this morning. Wanted to know, uh, are tickets still on sale today for Miranda Lambert's show in February? No. No. Uh, they will let us know when those tickets go on sale. My guess is sometime between Thanksgiving and Christmas. That's right. Would, would you not assume? Mm-hmm. That's it. But we'll let you know when we hear something, all right?